this is a brief wrap up at the end of the year, virtually the end of the year at a time that a lot of people consider to be exercising uh, unquestioned beliefs. They exercise their unquestioned, belie unquestioned beliefs. It makes people act kind of obsessively in many ways. And uh, this is my kind of wrap from the ultimate pagan. The ultimate pagan, and I'll give you my definition of pagan, and that is a person who actually believes in the value of another human being, a brother or a sister. I have a pagan believes believes in the value of other people. This is paganism. This is where I would say if I was going to belong to a clan, and Groucho said, I I don't want to belong to a club that would have me as a member, but I'll make a concession and I will invoke belief. I'm not big on belief, but I'll say that I do believe in the value of other people, in the value of human beings. Anyway, it's a brief wrap and uh, I, I'm going to keep this very short because what I want to say, something that I have talked about in many of my other videos, I, I of course have great affection for the idea of making paintings and doing art and other creative souls out there who, who have committed their journey in life to explore their inner world. At this time of year, it would be really fabulous for people to, to begin to realize that somehow there is a world other than the external world, but of course, it's, it's difficult when we're so completely inundated with beliefs that have ultimately no value to us, but we act on them anyway. So I would say that at this time, what I would, as the ultimate pagan who believes in you, the value of you, and I'll tell you what I believe in, in terms of you. This is something that is very powerful in me, that I, is something that I've understood through my own experience, something that I have come to in my own way. And I don't think it was really influenced uh, specifically by, um, uh, by any great icon or any great being that has existed in the world, but it's just through a very intimate inner circle sense of being connected to different people who have value to me, who helped me become a better person. Yeah, I think that really makes sense. I, I don't really associate this feeling that I have, this strong feeling why I believe in people, is not something that is, uh, is something from the outside world that, that comes from the outside. This is something that comes up from within me, regardless of whatever happens around me. And I think at this time, I would... Uh, be really a lot more encouraging to people like me, pagans like me. And I don't associate pagans with like that practice of witchcraft. Or, that's not paganism. That's just another form of, uh, of uh, attributing value to an external world that fundamentally has no value because it's created for us. It's not something that we are creating for ourselves. It's something that has been imposed and we accept it you know, whether it has a long beard or whether it has horns or whatever it might have. And that, that world fundamentally is created for us, not by us. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big proponent of living your calling. The idea of your calling is the world out there that we seem to be in communion with to some extent would actually reflect that inner world a lot more than it does in fact right now. Right now I look around uh, I didn't go out today, but apparently uh, uh, there is madness in the stores. <laughs> Level of anxieties. I didn't buy a single thing this year for anyone. Haven't in the last few years. Obviously, there are some children involved who who are who I consider to be important to to let them know that somebody is thinking of them. Not in terms of. The, the material world, although children unfortunately relate this to the material world as well, just like who are the parents? Who are, who are we? Who are we going to fool? I mean, kids understand this. So associate, they associate their, the caring of a person to something that they get, I guess. So anyway, I, I'm still somewhat uh, culpable here. But here's, here's, the, uh, here's my 
my statement, my synopsis about the situation I see myself in and why I feel compelled to make a video even at this time of year. And that is to say that whatever it is that we have conceived of or that we believe to be operative is very likely totally untrue and insignificant. Like I've always said, truth is the most moving target in the history of all targets combined. So there is, there is really no value in attaching ourselves to any kind of concept because it's very likely, it's very likely a construct. It has been constructed, not, not from something from within, whether that be to expose the bastards I was just listening to SGT report on 9-11 and how there is going to be a grand jury. Oh, fantastic. And I said, you know, don't get too excited about it because the reason this is permitted is because there's a reptile in the wings ready to take advantage of this shift, whatever the shift might be. It's kind of like 1789. It's like the uh, revolution, like the yellow jackets in 1789 ended up with the same boss. Well, a new boss, but it's the same old, same old, same old boss. So here is, okay, don't stop dragging this out, Tom. The idea of being alive right now that I have understood, like sort of like coming together with a, an idea that makes everything work for me is that I fundamentally have a belief in the value of another being, another person, even life itself. I have a, a, fully, uh, a fully functioning belief and trust that life, this mystery that we're in, is so incredibly valuable, is so magnificent. We cannot abuse or mistreat this the way it is represented in the external world. So the only hope that I feel we have is as we come on board, not to the religious uh, the, the, the religion of science or the religion of God or all that kind of stuff. Well, pile it on after if you have to, but if you have that fundamental basis, that, that building block of our humanity in place, which puts faith into, into the, the concept that this mystery is so magnificent on behalf of everything that we can that we could possibly imagine. This is the, the basis of our operation. This is the basis of our success, whatever that might be, in terms of being you and me. And the last bastion, I have decided this, and I'm gonna reiterate something. The last bastion is not waking up to the bastard's misdeeds. This is being this is being exposed by so many hundreds and maybe thousands of channels. And they have, I suppose, they're, you know what they are to me is entertainment. They entertain me. But the fundamental essence that needs to, that needs to be uh, underneath everything is this notion I always bring up that is regardless of anything outside of us is something that comes the highest part within us. This, this, seems, this seems so pure and elegant to me. It was invoked by other people as well that have lived before me, that you can associate and you figure out the names yourself who have said this. But that is something within all of us, which gives me faith in people, that they want to do the right thing based on an inner world that says, this is right, this is the right thing, Thing for me, this is the right thing to do. And there is no need to come up with explanations because as soon as you come up with explanations, you open yourself up to the possibility of all these intrusions, whether they're religious intrusions or science intrusions, logical, reasonable. There is no explanation other than the fact that it's right. It's called conscience, by the way. <laughs> We've associated a word with this feeling within all of us. And it's the last bastion of hope. It's the only thing that stands between us and a complete total destruction of, of, of body and spirit as we proceed. As we proceed, and as you see, this whole notion of uh, this, this time of year where people are so stressed out 
one day of the year, you're going to make up all for the shit you did the rest of the year and you're going to remember everybody and you sit around in levels with levels of anxiety that are off the charts and then you never want to see anybody again for a whole year. So what's the point of that? Anyway, I just wanted to say hey to the people I uh, really appreciate out there that uh, occasionally pay attention to what I have to say and I think it's important for me to uh, continue to post and uh, remind everyone because we're up against uh, some some really monumental forces that are threatening not just human life but all life on this planet at this point. This is an insight, spontaneous, if you want, from the studio, from the artist. If there is any value to artists in history, you know that there is a spontaneity and occasionally even a clarity about something. And I'm saying, if there is any value to what it is that I produce as an artist, I've understood that we are under threat, but we have a defense. We have a simple defense, as I said. So, my best to all of you. Not just this at this time of the year, but every day, every day. I believe in you and uh, pass that on to others as well.